Good Friday morning, everybody, live and direct from out and about in Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with a quick look at what's going on with the forecast as we go into the rest of Friday. We unfortunately have better chances of rainfall across much of the Mid-South. Keep tuned to what's going on with the weather with this address up here, wrag.com slash weather. Contact me here at austin.onik at wrag.com. Forecast information in the blue bar scrolling by here. If you can't stick around for the whole thing and information on social media down in the red bar at the bottom of your page or on the icon there or there or all over the place. you got all kinds of neat stuff to take a look at. As of right now, we don't have a lot going on. We do, did have some scattered showers taking place earlier this morning, but as of right now, we do not have really too much of anything left over from those showers. A lot of those back around the metro area, and those have basically dissipated. There's not a lot of support to keep these things going, to develop them a little bit, yes, but not to sustain them, and so we did not see too much of anything past about 8.30 this morning where it comes to anything involving amounts of rainfall. A few scattered showers left over around Union City and back on over toward around the area of just west of Nashville this morning, but beyond that, there's just really not that much going on at this time, so good news there. Likewise, across the area, the only warnings that we have are the flood warnings, which remain in effect in the green-shaded counties for up and down the Mississippi River, the Black, the St. Francis, the Cache, the White Rivers, all in flood warning stage at this time, and that's left over from a couple of weeks ago when we did have all that rainfall coming on through, and more rainfall on top of that is not going to help matters much, and this storm system going Going through the central part of the country from the Texas Panhandle, desert southwest, all the way across the country north and west of us over into parts of the Great Lakes in New England. That's front stretched out across portions of the area is going to do a very good job of keeping more chances of showers and thunderstorms in and around portions of the area west and north of us. So that gives us again the potential for more activity coming our way as we get into the rest of the weekend. We'll continue to monitor this throughout the weekend. We do have again a lot of energy with this storm system. That big swirl of energy that you see right up here is doing a very good job of creating more of these showers and thunderstorms and it's not in any hurry to move. So it's not going to be making its way through anytime soon, and that means more chances of showers and thunderstorms may be a possible problem as we get into around the area of the rest of the weekend. So if you have plans for outdoors, go ahead and keep them, but you're going to want to make certain that you stay up to date with what's going on with the National Weather Service via their radar page, or you can go to our webpage, wrg.com slash weather, and find out more about what's going on out and about through there. Let's take a look and see what's going on with the river levels at this time. We again have a moderate flood going on on the river at Osceola, also down toward Tunica at the River Park, and those areas seeing the heaviest water coming on through right now. Big fall off in the Mississippi River as we go into the next couple of days as that water continues to make its way a little bit further downstream. We're currently at 34.97 feet above zero stage. That's again back into what we will call the minor flooding stage and that's going to be heading down into the lower action stage that will be coming up again later this weekend as we cross into that. That'll be going on about next Friday or so, but it's, it's gonna, it takes a long time to get all this water out and away from a particular area, especially in the Mid-South, surrounded by hills north of us and doing a good job of channeling that water out, but it takes a while to get all that taken care of. We do not have anything in the way of rainfall at this time. We did have some pretty good amounts of thunderstorms just west of us last night, some uh, numerous tornado watch boxes in effect, but those gave way to severe thunderstorm watch boxes as the atmosphere cooled off a little bit. So things looking pretty quiet there. We'll get back to that coming up a little bit later this weekend. More clouds, more sunshine over Power Center Academy, and some, again, sunshine out there mixed with some rainfall, but some parts of the Mid-South remain a little bit on the cloudy side this morning from the WRAG Cotton Exchange camera. You're looking over the mighty Mississippi and, of course, the barbecue fest going on down toward Tom Lee Park. We are going to be seeing uh, possible rainfall again off and on for the weekend, so whether it's a dry rub or a wet rub, it looks like you're going to get wet regardless little barbecue joke there for you. Going into the rest of the day today, again, that storm system coming on through will be making its way uh, with the possibility of heavy rain and flash flooding back to our west, and then more chances of showers and maybe some severe weather into the Mid-South for parts of the weekend tomorrow. But then that threat leaves the area as that storm system finally lifts on up and out of here and gets rid of our chances of showers and thunderstorms for the Mid-South. High temperatures today, mid-80s or so, a few upper 80s south of Interstate 40. 
chances of rainfall will be greatest as we get into the rest of the day for parts of northeast Arkansas. You can see sort of a darker shade of green upwards in that particular location uh, in that area down to the south of I-40. Less of a chance but still possible so we will see those chances of showers and thunderstorms remain in the forecast throughout the rest of the day. Lows tonight back in the upper 60s to around the lower 70s. More chances of rainfall again north of I-40 for tonight. But watch what happens as we go into tomorrow. High temperatures thanks to that cloud and rainfall shading out the sunshine will be gone from the area the really high 80s that's good news but more chances of showers and thunderstorms for tomorrow and some areas could be picking up at least another quarter of an inch at least to maybe a half an inch in some locations low temperatures saturday night going back into the mid to upper 60s with more chances of showers and thunderstorms widespread across much of the area and then for saturday night into sunday for high temperatures on Sunday, a little bit cooler again, thanks to all that rainfall out there, mid to upper 70s across much of the Mid-South with more chances of showers and thunderstorms coming our way as we get into, again, the early portion of the day, the day on Sunday. That'll be our best chance of rainfall. Most of everything else will be leaving the area toward afternoon and evening. So again, perfect timing for the weekend. The weekend is over with and then so are the chances of rainfall. So low temperatures Sunday night into Monday morning, cool. So the Kids at the bus stop back in the mid to upper 50s and highs on Monday. A little bit comparatively nicer. Temperature is going to be a little bit warmer back in the mid to upper 70s or so to the lower 80s. And chances of rainfall, at least for Monday, will be gone. So definitely some good news there as we finish things up throughout the rest of the weekend. Let's take a look at severe weather at this time. Again, the main threat we're looking at is going to be out toward the Red River Valley with that enhanced risk, the orange risk that you see right there. Into the Mid-South area, we see again an, an, a uh, marginal threat, that dark green shaded category. Uh, into and around the area of the Boot Hill, Northwest Tennessee, and Northeast Arkansas. Now that's the forecast for today. If we go into the forecast for tomorrow, we're going to see a marginal threat. It looks like that's now been upgraded to a slight risk category for parts of the area. And that again for the Mid-South, that yellow shaded area, that's going to be the highest potential of severe weather out across much of the Mid-South. So we could see some thunderstorm watches and warnings out there as we get into tomorrow. It looks like so far uh, isolated strong wind gusts and hail will be the main concern about this as it gets into the area. And that can stick around again into Sunday or so. So we could be looking at damaging winds for most for the most part. And hail also a bit of a problem out there as we get into the rest of the forecast there. So that's something we're going to be able to see with the potential of more storms into the weekend. And we're going to be watching that with a lot of interest as that system gets a little bit closer to us. We'll keep track of this throughout the rest of the weekend. Todd Demers has your forecast coming up on Live at 9 and also on News Channel 3 at noon. Tim and Jim after that into the evening. And then I'll have more coming up throughout the rest of the forecast throughout the weekend on News Channel 3, both on air and online. So check out these social media networks and tons more information information available as we get through the rest of the weekend. Live and direct from out and about in Memphis, I'm meteorologist Austin Onyx. Stay tuned for more coming up throughout the rest of the day and the weekend with News Channel 3 on air and online. And stay tuned for my forecast throughout the course of the rest of the weekend. And thanks for joining us.